It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Washington Commanders and the Dallas Cowboys, and it's coming up next. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Washington Commanders and the Dallas Cowboys. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. one started and we are underway from AT&T Stadium taken in at the three and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 commanders trot to the field for their first possession and it's the seventh year quarterback out of North Dakota State leading the way his third NFL team Carson Wentz Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders are hoping to provide stability for each other starting in 2022. It's the third team in three years for Wentz and the fourth starter in four years for Washington. The big thing with Wentz has always been staying on the field. And last season in Indianapolis, he played a full 17 games, leading the Colts to a 9-8 record and almost into the playoffs. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Gibson again. Okay, didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. Wentz going to try and throw on third, and that's going to be incomplete. But, man, his first throw, that nearly went the other way. Instead, it's fourth down. They'll go, it's Gibson. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm not so sure I would have made this call. I'm not so sure I would have said, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one, especially at this point of the game. But give him credit, he had a feeling and carried it through. Yeah, that's one where you think, okay, if you're down, two minutes left, the ball's near midfield, you go for it. But at this stage, at that part of the field, but like you said, it worked. Quick throw knocked away, it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A run here for J.D. McKissick. Five yards, now it's third and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And he is going to bring this one back to the house. It's a commander's touchdown on the scoop and score. Joey Sly on for the extra point. The kick is good, and the Commanders out to a 7-0 lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Joey Sly. 
And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So out come the Cowboys under head coach Mike McCarthy. The six foot three QB from Central Michigan leading him out there, and that's Cooper Rush. Brandon, I know he isn't at the status of some of the elite names in this league, but I do know he's an absolute fighter because he's heard all the criticism. He's read the articles that say he isn't good enough to be the starter, and he absolutely does not care. All he wants to do is prove every doubter wrong and show that he belongs in this spot. To throw is Rush. Open man is Noah Brown. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us a hit. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and it's now 14 to nothing. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. Joey Sly to kick off for the commander. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Back to throw Rush. His throw incomplete. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Draw play, Elliott. Oh, good move. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more on that one and another first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I will continue to go in that direction. Rush. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. On second and ten. Rush. Going to take a shot for Gallup. 
And this one he incomplete. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. Throwing here, Rush. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to make it fourth down. Brett Maher now for the Cowboy field goal. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And that is no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And it's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, they could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watch 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A big pickup of 38. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. Wentz now on first down. And this one is incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Got his target, Samuel. And the commanders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Steps away to his left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. They'll try to run with Gibson, and he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Commanders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. 
And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Now Rush. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Rush's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Here's Rush to throw. This will be caught once again by Brown. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Jamin Davis. And the Commanders are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Taking a shot for Samuel. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting group from Washington who are out on top. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando and the EA Sports halftime report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from that first half for Washington. And there were a few factors as to why they built this good size advantage, but the rushing numbers were not all that amazing. We'll see if they can pick it up in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they too didn't do a whole lot in terms of rushing efficiency in that first half, as you can tell by the numbers there. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Once again, 
They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Back to throw. Rush. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. On third down, Rush. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there. That brings up Ford. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Wentz bringing the commanders out for first and 10. Just shy of the 30. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Throwing on first is Wentz. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. A broken foot limited Demarcus Lawrence to seven games last season and only three sacks. And the Cowboys, they need him to get back to his Pro Bowl form. At one point in his career, he had 25 sacks in a span of two seasons. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Doris Armstrong, he's the one that drops him this go around, and that pass rush getting strong here, back-to-back -back sacks. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively, pressure coming off that right side from the DN. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well, and that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow them to convert a third and 18. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Gibson here running out of the gun. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. They'll run with Gibson. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. And he's got it down to the 28. 
What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. And sometimes all of your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. And the next-gen stats, they tell the story as he was approaching 19 miles an hour on that one. On second down, a run with Gibson. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And they come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. The first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. Operating from the gun. Rush. That would complete Elliott. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. On third and two, Rush got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he will have a Cowboys first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Rush's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. From 13 yards out. And the Cowboys are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. They'll let Elliott try and run it in. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. You know, sometimes the guy on the defensive side of the ball, he just has a good feeling or a good read. And he unleashed his defense on that one. Boy, they stopped him in a big way. Yeah, I hate to be cliche, but sometimes we overanalyze. They just have more want. Looked like they had more <laughs> want right there. More want and more people to the ball. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. On third down, here's Gibson. So a victory here for the Commanders. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter 
and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural. Yeah, but yeah, I, but, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I represent, like, yeah. like the best player of all yeah. of that. And I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You, I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a game ball, child. and you get a game <laughs> ball. Game balls for everybody.